is one, one is none, three is a guarantee. And there's nothing more important than having multiple ways to do something than to make coffee when the power's out. So today, we're gonna to talk about the Stanley French Press Coffee Maker. Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. Back with another gear review. Real quick before we dive in, you want to know more about me? Toolmantim.co. Run by there. You can sign up for the Patch of the Month Club and a bunch of other stuff. I don't have a lot of experience with French press coffee makers. The few times I've actually had it, I've really enjoyed it. I've always been a fan of Stanley, even though a lot of their manufacturing has been shipped offshore to China now. The quality is still better than most of what's on the market. A couple of years ago, I asked for one of these for Christmas. Finally got it this last Christmas. So it's got a 4.6 star rating out of 2,600 reviews on Amazon. Right now, it's just under 60 bucks. The price goes up and down a little bit, but that's at the time of this filming. Holds a whopping 48 ounces of coffee. I've got a 12 cup coffee maker that I normally make one pot in the morning and drink it throughout the day. If I fill one normal coffee mug, the rest of it will go into this. So it'll hold two and a half, three full mugs worth of coffee. To me, that's enough. Now, what have I ended up using this for? The big thing I've used it for so far has just been, I make the coffee in my coffee maker, I need to take it down to the office, I want something hot to keep it in, easy to pour it out of, this is what I've been using. They claim three to four hours to keep your beverage hot. I get about two hours of piping hot out of it. A couple things you want to pay attention to right here. Let me show you. Right there, that's the pour nozzle, of course. And you'll see right there. Put that in the front, and that's where you can pour it out. There's a little arrow there, so you can't miss it. When you want to set it, turn it to the left or to the right. Doesn't matter. Anything that's offset from the nozzle there, that makes a vacuum seal. Keeps it tight, keeps the heat in for the most part. Now it's double insulated or double vacuum insulated. It's got that nice green kind of knurled finish, traditional Stanley. But where I find the heat comes out the most is up around this stainless steel kind of area. It just acts like a heat sink and you get a fair bit of heat out of there. It weighs two and a half pounds empty. Not bad. I wouldn't want to take it on an ultralight camping trip or anything like that. I wanted this so I could heat up water on the barbecue in a power outage and then make coffee without needing power. Now it cleans up really well. The first time I used it, I made a mistake. You guys are all gonna holler at me. I put the creamer in my coffee in this. So that cooled it down. So what I do now is I keep the creamer out and separate. But the problem is, after I was done shooting my videos and doing my paperwork, I forgot it sitting there with about that much coffee in it and kind of some nasty old creamer left in there. Two, three days later, I found it wasn't a great sight. Went online, I'm like, how am I gonna clean this? Well, for starters, the interior cleans up beautifully. But, let me show you, this is the French press section here. This is the top that slides up and down. Shaft that goes through there. Nice heavy duty knob. But the part I was concerned about was this kind of three part screen filter, the press part. Well, check this out. So if you hold the knob up here, grab this right here and turn it, spins right off. There's a little knob right there to keep it completely contained so it won't accidentally fall off. But what I like about this, so you've got your bottom piece right there, then you've got your screen right there, and then you've got your spring piece right there. You can take it all apart, get some hot soapy water or hot water in general, and then give it a real good scrub down with just a regular scrubbing sponge. And it did a great job. I've been, Less than perfect with the maintenance on it. I've got just a little bit of tiny bit of rust there on the screen, but it cleans up really nice. So as far as my first experience with a French press coffee maker, I kind of like it. So I'm gonna show you some footage. Me and my daughter made some earlier on, show you how easy it is to use it. And for somebody who's never used a French press maker before, maybe you'll learn something. So hang in there. Just gonna fill up the kettle and then with as hot a top tap water as we can get. And hook your coffee. Shameless plug for the Canadian Coffee Company. My very own handyman grind. So we're going to put some in here. 
a little bit less than I would for a normal pot of coffee. Yes, I know I don't weigh it, so what? First, dump them straight in, just to that bottom line so that it doesn't, so that the grinds don't get past the, the pusher. So we're gonna go to there. We're gonna put this in like this, and we're gonna set a timer four minutes. down through nice and slow so that the grinds don't get past the filter screen and then once it gets to the bottom turn and enjoy yourself a nice cup of coffee all right guys so i hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the stanley french press coffee maker it's a bit of an investment. I'm kind of a Stanley nerd. I enjoy some of these old pieces and even these vintage looking old pieces. It's all metal construction except for the handle. The handle's plastic, but it's still fairly heavy duty. And like I said, it's better than almost everything else on the market. I enjoy the Stanley products. So it definitely meets the Toolman Tim seal of approval. But remember, like I said, two is one, one is none, three is a guarantee. And when it comes to coffee, can be a life or death matter. So it definitely meets the Toolman Tim seal of approval. So guys, you wanna see more of my reviews? Stick around, hit the subscribe button, come back, introduce yourself, go over, join the Telegram group. We can do, that's the best place where we share all of our information, everything that we know. I learn as much from everybody else there as I learn putting these videos together for you and as people learn from the videos I put together. So guys, I always appreciate you dropping by the workshop and as always, stay happy, stay healthy and have a great week.